Okay, so I'm gonna conduct a little bit of an experiment here with my video mic me from Roan. It's a microphone, also it's got a furry mic windshield that is supposed to cancel wind noise. There's a slight breeze at the moment and I think my audio is going to be coming through really, really well regardless of that. So overall I'm quite happy with this video mic me from Roan. I have tried it in extreme weather. It's pretty windy as you can see all of the trees behind me are going crazy out in the wind. And um, it's about a storm so I want to hear what the sound quality is going to be like. If the furry windshield is any good but I mean most of the time you're not going to be using it for that specifically it's going to be used in sort of like uh, light lighter wind conditions or general conditions outside there's quite a bit of wind at the moment I don't know if you can see behind me but the trees are moving about in the slight breeze so there is definitely a bit of wind going on I think if you have a look that palm tree behind me you'll see that it is definitely moving about and there's also another tree over here behind me that you'll also see evidence of wind i just want to hear what sort of like quality i can get through this through this microphone and then i'm also going to show you the setup that i have going on here unfortunately i didn't buy the video mic me that has the lightning port adapter i didn't know it was available to be quite honest with you so i ended up buying the one that has the 3.5 mil jack and I'm using the adapter that came with my iPhone 7 to basically run this run this microphone on my little setup over here. I have it over here on my on my tripod, which is the Joby Gorilla Pod. I think this is the 1K if I'm not mistaken. And then I have my video mic me. Basically not the best um, situation, but the elastic bands actually work quite well and I've been using this for, for quite some time now. So I basically put my phone into this setup over here and then connect the lightning port connector. I mean, in hindsight, it would have been a lot easier had I bought the video mic me that has the lightning port and not the jack, not the audio jack. That would have made life a lot simpler. Unfortunately, with this setup, it, it's quite a rigmarole to turn the microphone around. I have to basically um, take all those elastic bands off and then reattach it the other way around so that's that's a bit annoying to do but yeah not not impossible the alternative is I can just turn the phone around but then I can't see what I'm recording only some of it but that does also work so what I'm gonna do now is I'm going to pull the adapter from my phone Hopefully the video will carry on recording and then you can ba then you'll be able to hear the difference in sound. Hopefully we're going to hear a little bit of wind noise. Can't believe I'm saying that through the ordinary microphone on my iPhone 7 and then you'll be able to basically experience the difference. So here we go, pulling the jack out in 3 2 one. Okay, well not the jack, the connector. Okay, so the connector's out and the video is still recording. So I'm standing here you're hearing audio that is now being recorded through my iPhone 7's microphone and we're gonna see what the difference is what it sounds like um, the wind actually did ironically die down a little bit um, but you can see those palm trees behind me over there are still moving about okay let's stop the video and have a look yeah, so far I'm pretty happy, pretty happy with it. And the sun is busy going down here at the moment. In Pretoria, we get some amazingly beautiful sunsets out here in Pretoria, and I'm going to show you one. And that is a Pretoria sunset for you.